Now, Kim, hi, it's good to see you. Thanks for joining okay. us on the programme. Tell us um, what you heard from your mum as much as you want to. Well, this is the first letter I've had from her in over three years now. And last year, when we heard she was ill, I managed to send a care package to her, along with a letter. So this is a reply fr from that letter that I sent to her, just saying thank you for the care package and sending love to the family. There's not a great deal she can say, really. Did she talk anything about her circumstance, her health? Uh, I know that, she is, well, she won't be receiving any preferential treatment compared to other prisoners, but she's been kept apart from other prisoners, as far as I'm aware. And I know that her health, well, she has ongoing issues, such as problems with her teeth and uh, osteoporosis. So, at her age, I do worry for her. When was the last time you saw her? Be going on about five years ago now. I'm sure she's in your thoughts all the time. She went... She did live in Oxford, I think, but returned to Myanmar to, to nurse her sick mother, your grandmother. Um, looking back now, um, do you f feel that that was still the right decision for her? She's obviously a woman who is determined and knows her own mind. Yes, well, I think... I still think it was the right decision for her. I'm very proud of her. Of course. And despite all the difficulties that she's been through and our family have been through, it's nothing compared to what the people of Burma are going through. So I hope she will continue to fight for their freedom and democracy. How do you tell your children, her grandchildren, about the, their grandmother? Well, they've both met her now, and they, they are proud of her as well. So I hope to one day be able to take them to Burma, but obviously right now is not the time. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm sure. And you, you don't really know how she's doing. You sent her a, a care package, you say? Yes. Was that what, to help with her health, or...? Yes, various medicines and foodstuffs. Mm -hmm. um, when you don't have letters with, from... Do you, do you have any other form of communication at no, all? How do, how do you know how she's doing? No, we not Any news I've received is always second or third hand and comes via military spokespeople or prison officials, so it's hard to know how reliable that information is. Yeah. How do you... I mean, she was under house arrest for a very long time, wasn't she, before she went Yes, she's to been jail. under house arrest for at least 15 years over the last few decades. Yeah. What, do you, what hope do you have for her situation? Well, the situation in Burma is changing every day. It's hard to see what's happening on the ground, but thousands of troops are surrendering now, and we can hope that things will change sooner rather than later, because at the moment the country's in a worse state than it's been since, well, before I was born, probably. What should our viewers know about Burma, Myanmar? They should know that it's a country that has so much to offer. It's just incredibly sad that all of these decades' worth of development towards democracy have been reversed within three years. I think a lot could be done to help the situation there. I know that a lot of people are concentrating on what's happening in the Middle East and in Ukraine, but at the moment I think there's not that much we can do to help those situations, whereas if we actually gave a bit of the people who are fighting in Burma, then a lot could be done. What, what should the British government and, and other Western um, governments do to try to help? They could start by imposing stricter sac sanctions that are actually effective to restrict the military's access to things like aviation fuel. And they could start openly... Well, open dialogue with the NUG, that's the National Union Government that's been formed since the coup, and just trying to work with people to make things better for the people who are suffering on the ground in Burma today. I'm sure you, you communicate with people in Burma, um, Myanmar, given that you can't often speak to your mother. How much fear do people live with? <coughs> A great deal. There are some people who have been bombed repeatedly and have lost everything and are fleeing in the jungles. There's many thousands who are in desperate need of humanitarian aid. 
And whilst we can hope that the fighting may come to a stop at some point, it's not going to happen any time too soon. And there's so many people who are in the worst of situations at the moment. People can go and support my campaign on GoFundMe in order to try and raise money for humanitarian aid. It's the Freedom Tattoo campaign on GoFundMe. So we are trying to do what we can to continue to raise awareness and funds for humanitarian aid. Do you have any political ambitions? No, none whatsoever. Do you think your mo mother at any stage may return to politics? I think if she's freed soon, Burma would still want to have her guidance. But I, I don't know how much more she'll be able to do. She's getting old now, and I hope that other people will be able to start taking up her mantle. What would you like her to do? I'd like her to have a bit of a break, to be honest. What's your fondest memory of her? I think going back, just, just normal family life when we were living in Park Town together in Oxford, but that was so many years ago. We're talking over 30 years ago. And what did family, normal family life consist of? Taking the dog for a walk in the park, uh, playing board games, family meals. Why do you feel that she felt compelled to give all of that up? I think with her father having been assassinated when she was very young after achieving independence for Burma, that would have made a huge impression on her. And she always told my father that if Burma needed her, she would go back to help. And is there anything, any hope on the horizon at the moment? You said if she's released soon, is there anything that you're looking towards? I can't say there is, actually. I, I hope that the conflict will finish soon and that she will see her freedom. But there isn't anything that indicates that that will happen. At the moment, uh, uh, her house has been auctioned off. And once that's gone, I don't think she'll have any assets in Burma whatsoever. So even if she is freed, I don't know what she'll be coming out into. I'm sure she'd be very welcome back here with her son and his family, if that was the case. Uh, but it's, it's good of you to take the time to join us this morning. Will you respond to your mother's note? Yes, I will be. I'll be trying to send letters from the rest of the family as well. OK. Well, uh, if there's anything we can do, Kim, do keep in touch. Thank you very much indeed for taking the time. Thank, Thank you. Thank you, Kate. Thanks a lot.